Good evening, everyone. And I really like reading this book because it's really fun and funny because the kitty is a ballerina. And I love animals and it's very related to animals because they are cats. And, the, and you know once I tried to be a ballerina when I was in kindergarten. We're going to read Ballet Kitty. Hi guys, today we're going to read Ballet Kitty. Kitty woke up happy. Her ears were pink. Her nose was pink. Even her little toes were pink. Kitty loved the ballet and she loved pink. And today she was feeling as pretty as a ballerina from her head to toes. Kitty jumped out of bed and did a little... What is it again? I forgot the word. Pirouette. Pirouette. <clears throat> P... P... Row... Row... Et. Et. Pirouette. Then she leaped across her room to get ready. Her friend Pussycat was coming to play. Kitty pulled on her pink tights. She put on her pink... Leotard. 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 Then she put on her prettiest tutu. I have to have a tutu like that. But something was missing. Where are my ba ballet slippers? She said to herself. Kitty looked in her closet. She looked in the toy chest. She looked under the bed and all over her room. But she could not find her ballet slippers. Mama! Well, Kitty, I can't find my ballet slippers. Well, they were your sneakers then, Mama called back. But Kitty did not want to wear her ugly old sneakers. Now Kitty was grumpy. Her ears were pale, her nose was pale. She did not feel happy. She did not look pretty. Where are my ballet slippers, she mumbled. Where could they be, she grumbled. Then Kitty heard a knock on the door. She pulled on her sneakers, but a little tear rolled down her face. I won't have any fun, she said, as she went to answer the door. Pussycat was there, dressed up like a princess, and Pussycat looked lovely. She was wearing her lilac princess gown. She had her, her lilac shoes and her lilac cape and her little lilac jewel crown. Princess Pussycat jumped up and down. She gave, she gave Ballet Kitty a big squeeze. Together, the two friends let out a squeal and they ran to the playroom. They set up a stage. They pranced and preened and pretended to be princesses all morning. But even princess can get hungry. But even princesses can get hungry. At lunchtime, Bella Kitty set out her prettiest teacups and plates. She set, she and Princess Pussycat sat on the floor while they sipped their juice and nibbled on their little tuna sandwiches. Then Bella Kitty picked off her sneakers. She showed Princess Pussycat her best critiques. It was again. Pirouette. Pirouettes. Her perfect piles and her cutest curtsies. Is it? Curtsies. Curtsies. Princess Pussycat tried up Pirouette. Too. It wasn't as pretty as Ballet Kitty's. But that didn't matter. They pulled on belly music and danced for the rest of the afternoon. When the day was over and Pussycat went home, Kitty had a big smile on her face. Her ears were pink, her nose was pink, and she was feeling happy from her head to little pink toes. Then she remembered her belly slippers. And you know what? Belly Kitty found them right under her room, right there in her room under the table, just where ha she had left them the night before. The end. Also, Bally is 
Kabbalah Kitty's one is a great story because it teaches you that you don't need to look pretty as others. You just need to have fun okay. and always have a smile on your face. Okay. Also, this is advice that I always hear from other people. Before you wake up, put a, a big smile on your face. Bye. Good night. Good night.